the Crystal Practice Management Build Code Editing video. My name is Adam, and in this video, I will be demonstrating how to modify build codes in Microsoft Excel using the complete build code list supplied by Crystal. To begin, let us first look at the build code spreadsheet. You will notice that the spreadsheet being displayed is our complete list, which includes contact lens build codes, professional service build codes, ophthalmic lens build codes, ophthalmic material build codes, ophthalmic treatment build codes, and our VSP bill codes used for offices that will be utilizing the VSP integration in Crystal. Crystal does have pre-created bill code lists for various office types. If you are a new or existing office and are interested in using one of our pre-created bill code lists, please email info at crystalpm.com or reach out to your assigned trainer for assistance. The best way to approach editing the bill code spreadsheet is in two phases. Phase one consists of removing all of the products and services from the spreadsheet that your office does not provide. Phase two consists of pricing out the remaining bill codes. Removing a bill code is done by selecting a line item from the left hand side of the screen. This should highlight the entire line item. You will need to right click on that line item, which gives you a list of options. You will need to choose the delete option to remove the bill code. If you right click on an item to delete it and get this window, then immediately press the cancel button. If you proceed, you will only delete the information in that particular cell. This result will lead to the line items in that column not matching the remaining line items as shown here. You can remove multiple consecutive bill codes at once. There are a number of ways to do this. You can select one line item and while pressing and holding the shift key on your keyboard, select the last line item in a group of codes you would like to delete. This will highlight all the codes. Just right click and select the delete option. If you mistakenly delete a bill code or multiple bill codes, you can reinstate them with the undo button at the top of the screen. Another way to remove multiple consecutive bill codes is to select one line item and while continuing to hold the left mouse button down, drag the mouse down on the screen. This will select multiple bill codes. When you have selected all the bill codes you wish to delete, right click and choose the delete option. It is strongly recommended that you do not remove any of the VSP bill codes unless your office is not planning on using the VSP integration. Once you have removed all the bill codes for the products and services you will not provide, you will need to add the prices to the remaining line items. This is done in column N on the spreadsheet, which I will highlight green. As you can see, the column name is fee and represents the retail fee of that product or service. This is not to be confused with column R, which is labeled as cost. This field represents the wholesale cost for the product or service and is only used for reporting purposes. I will highlight that column yellow. Removing line items for products and services you do not provide and adding prices to the remaining bill codes is the bare minimum recommended before importing the spreadsheet into the admin billing section of Crystal. Additionally, if there are any products or services you provide that are not listed on the bill code spreadsheet, you can add those bill codes to the spreadsheet prior to importing the spreadsheet into Crystal. These bill codes can also be added directly to Crystal after the bill code spreadsheet has been imported if you would prefer not to add them directly to the spreadsheet prior to importing. Adding new bill codes to the spreadsheet is relatively easy. The easiest way to create a new bill code is to initially copy the information from cell F through cell X. and paste that information in a blank line on the spreadsheet. Once the information has been copied and pasted into the appropriate fields, you will need to populate the following information. The bill code ID in cell A. This is an in-office nickname to the product or service in which you are creating the bill code for. It cannot be longer than 20 characters, 
and no two bill code IDs can be identical. The procedure code in cell B will need to be populated with the appropriate procedure code. If you are using V codes or S codes, it is recommended to use the uppercase V or the uppercase S. The time field can be left blank or populated with a zero. The description field in cell D should be populated with the appropriate description no longer than 60 characters. The category column in cell E should be populated with the appropriate category for the bill code being created. Categories are used for reporting purposes and will be talked more about in the admin training video and the admin deep dive billing section training video. Once you are done editing the bill code spreadsheet and are ready to import the spreadsheet into Crystal, you will need to make sure you save your work and close the file in Excel. The file format must be saved in the .csv file format. If the file is saved in any other format, it will not properly import into Crystal. You must also make sure the file is not open in Excel or it will not import into Crystal. To import the file, you will need to navigate to the Admin Billing section. Once there, you will see a button at the bottom of the screen that says Import File. Pressing this button will open a window asking if you wish to replace your billing codes. You will need to say yes to this prompt. A window will now open allowing you to choose the appropriate file from the location you have saved your billing code spreadsheet in. Select the file and press the Open button to import. In the next training video, we will discuss how to modify bill codes directly in Crystal from the admin billing section. This includes creating new bill codes and inactivating bill codes your office will no longer use. If you have any issues importing your spreadsheet into Crystal, please contact your assigned trainer or email info at crystalpm.com.